I am currently the America's record holder in the 100 meter. So I won the event, you know, but usually with racing, you, it, it's cool to win the event, but it's more about our times and stuff. So, you know, I was like, oh, that's that's going to be a horrible time. I don't I don't even want to see it. You know, I just I had a major headwind I had to push into. And so when I looked up at the time and, and saw the time I got, I, I just I was just shocked. I couldn't believe it. I was so excited that was a definite eye opener. Um, I didn't medal there, but I did all my personal best times at that time there. Uh, but it was just an awesome experience, big learning experience. Um, racing in front of 90,000 people, I've never done that before. So my, my very first race, you know, I wouldn't even look up. So when they called us out onto the track, I just, I just focused straight down on the track. I didn't want to look up and freak out with all these people watching me. And so I did my race and then I finally looked up and I was like, holy cow, there's a lot of people here. But so it was definitely a learning experience. I barely missed the London team. I missed it by like one point. So I was, I was the next alternate on the team. That just really opened my eyes. I was really, I was angry, angry at myself, the lack of training I did to try to make the team for London. So um, I definitely stepped up my training and you know, I don't want to miss any more teams, any more opportunities to go out and win medals, represent my country. These are two medals from this year's um, Paralympic National Championships. I got a gold in the 100 meter, the 400 meter, and the 800 meter. Hopefully the next medals I'll be holding up is a gold medal from the Rio Paralympic Games. <laughs>